That's right. FTX founder and former CEO Sam Bankman Fried is jailed in the Bahamas until his extradition hearing in February. Our next guest says one defense option could be for him to waive his objection to extradition to the United States. Joining us right now is Jacob Frankel, who's the chair of the Government Investigations and Securities Enforcement Practice at Dick Dickinson Wright. Formerly, he served as senior counsel at the SEC's Division of Enforcement. And, Jacob, I think a lot of people look at this and think, okay, um, the United States is moving. Some people thought it took too long. I think if you follow these things, it's probably, you probably think it happened pretty speedily. Um, but what are his options? What happens next? Will he be extradited back to the United States in the end? Uh, Becky, that's a great question because there's been a lot of talk about how extradition really is inevitable. And the more I think about it is I think the best strategy for him is to fight extradition. And the reason for that is, and that's not to say he would not ultimately be extradited, but we're dealing with cryptocurrencies. And when we're talking about extradition, without getting too far into the weeds, there's an issue of dual criminality, which means is the violation of law as established in the Bahamas the same as it is in the United States? If it's not, then he cannot be extradited um, on the, on those in those areas of law. And that could be one area, for example, where if the Bahamas want to keep him, if they want to prosecute him first, or if for some reason he's working something out with the Bahamian authorities, that he may be able to, you know, stay in stay in the Bahamas. The other advantage in fighting extradition is to be able to circumscribe, put a limit on what could be his potential term of incarceration. Um, again, an option. The flip side of that, a whole entire option analysis for him, is to waive extradition which is, if you look at the indictment that was charged, it really is a bare-bones indictment. I mean, one day later, I mean, if you think about it, the indictment was unsealed on Tuesday, the day of the congressional hearings. The next day, the United States Attorney's Office in the Southern District returned an indictment involving a Ponzi scheme in relating to cryptocurrencies. It was a much more robust, detailed indictment, more along the lines of what we're used to seeing out of the Justice Department. The fact that we did not see that what means, number one, there was a rush to get that indictment filed and to have it ready to go that for that Tuesday. And second, what it, what it means is there is the opportunity for negotiation because even though Sam Bankman-Fried is at the top of the food chain, that is who is the ultimate target in the view of many. The fact is he did not operate alone. The charges include conspiracy. And yes, they're not going to cut a deal with him to get to underlings. But there's very much going to be an interest in not just Sam Bankman-Fried, but those who conspired with him. And I think there'll be an acute interest as well. You, um, you mean on conspired with him outside of the company, Jacob? I, I, there's so many questions on this. Again, I don't know why we would negotiate with this guy. Um, you, you think there are other players outside of the company, not his underlings? I, well, the, 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 answer, the answer is that's all part of the investigation. And, and I agree with you. In terms of negotiating the, in the typical sense, we're, we're used to historically, if you go back to the days of Enron, we're always talking about negotiating to climb the ladder. He's the top. So there is nothing to negotiate. But the fact that he's not in the United States means that, you know, the United States does not have the ultimate leverage against him yet. Yeah, but isn't, and, fraud, and, isn't fraud a crime in the Bahamas, too? Fraud is a crime in the Bahamas, but but the question is whether whether a whether fraud involving a sale of cryptocurrencies or because again we consider them to be securities in the United States, we've taken that position definitively. Yes, fraud is money laundering is I don't know, stealing We're, people's money. However, uh, you do it. There's no, John Becky, Ray says not, this is just old-fashioned extortion. Ja Jacob, it, you, you just you just totally gave all the conspiracy theorists though what, what they're looking for. You just said there's no doubt it was a bare bones indictment to rush it before the congressional hearings. It, are there were there political types that have gotten uh, you know political contributions? Was that going to come out on uh, in front of the with the congressional testimony and? And it was actually rushed now, to prevent. I, that? I don't. I don't think that at all. I now, think. What were I, think you the, I think the rush. Why was it rushed? I, I, I think the rush to get the indictment is to make a very clear statement. This is a crime. I agree with you. This is a crime. This is fraud. What I'm talking about is from the legal nuances involving extradition and what he ultimately right. could bring to the table in, fi so, in fighting extradition.